Hey everyone, it is time for top decks. We have the new Divine set, or Divine Z, just to annoy Chris. But yeah, it is out, and I'm not gonna lie, I think we got probably the most number of decks for a specific deck this week. Probably more than Shiranui did when at its peak, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, but it's been really popular. All the new stuff have been really popular, and like it's pretty crazy what's been coming out so we're gonna get into that as you can see it's just me this week kelvin is out enjoying his life still in japan so i'm not gonna disturb him right i'll, I'll it's, give him a break right we, we're giving him a break but I, I me me and like the boys or the boy which is pretty much chris we're doing some research on these decks we're play testing them and see how good they were so i think we have a relatively decent idea on how everything is but but right as always, we are just two washed up people, uh, casters, right? We're not as good as the players anymore. Uh, maybe we are though, maybe we are. But yeah, th there's still the players out there that are innovating and coming up with the new stuff. So always pleased to see all the cool stuff that's been going on. So let's get started. I'm not gonna waste any more time because I think, well, actually, I think this might be pretty quick. I'm not gonna lie because everything is just so focused on specific decks, but let's get started. So first off, we have Maha Nirvana. I honestly don't know how this made it, but it is locals and it got a new PR. So maybe it's just maybe it's just half decent now, right? You still do five attacks. Five attacks is pretty much the norm if you're a multi-attack deck. Uh, and it has triple drive. So all very cool. So good stuff here. Then we had one overlord as well. So yeah, overlord, I feel like is still relatively decent. Uh, not much to say. It's running four defensing defending blitz order though which is quite a lot right it's quite a lot <laughs> i guess okay okay the combo is the one that i've been talking about is that you place down the energy uh the, the new cycler energy cycler i guess and you get to bounce it with the defensive house so you can keep on reusing it and drawing more cards and using your energy efficiently so that's kind of like the cool gimmicks that are going around here uh and then we have some gandiva so these are english gandivas this is from ancient patamon Heard people calling Gandiva a dead deck in my area, so I did a funny and got second, so that's great. Actually, he won all his games, so probably if they had one more round, it, it's, it'd be like better, right? But, you know, probably tied kind of first kind of thing. But yeah, Gandiva coming back with, I don't know, what was the replacements? Was there any specific, I think just running Barania, Barania, and like more of the Brachio Force and all that. Even the best Harvest, I think just works out. And then after that, we had another Gandiva, so Decade, first place at Magitech. And this is Dragon Empire uh, Forever. Now, is she eating? Is that a, like a long, long man kind of thing? <laughs> oh, yeah, another Gandiva. So congrats there. Yeah. On to Shiranui. You're going to be surprised at the amount of Shiranui this week. Of course, right? Everyone knows how to build a Shiranui deck. It's pretty simple. Just put in some Shenries. Uh, put in some anti, I guess, bind zone cards for the Migo matchup if you hate it as much. Is it your is a source is just really good? Um, yeah. But pretty simple. It's it's a pretty established build now. There's nothing that special, nothing that in its in these guys actually these guys just didn't run the normal stuff. Esperaldias, uh, just to not get cucked by people playing smart. Uh, and then some of these soul cards, because Shenry's expensive. <laughs> and another one here, alright. Nothing too special. Kind of just going to go through it a bit because we all know how it is. Uh, we've, we've seen this deck, I think, enough, right? So, quick sip. Mm. That's right. Congrats. Congrats. But, oh, this is a misplay. <laughs> I was really craving some milk tea because there is not that many in Japan. Well, there are, but I'm kind of busy in Japan. There's a lot of milk stuff in Japan. So I decided not to get it, but when I come back, I'm like, jump straight to it. Let's talk about Varga. Varga is the big deck this week. I think there are 31 entries this week for this deck alone. Everyone is hyping it up. Uh, even different fighters, if you've been checking different fights, Paige, he's been hyping it up. Everyone likes now, right? Which is crazy. So this is pretty much the deck to beat. So one of the few, uh, few things, have you seen, I think, have you seen... Some of the original builds for this deck, they were running double cyclers. So you have the old cycler cards as well as the new energy cyclers. Um, and then people have been changing it up. You know, people have been running different ride lines. So the the Bass Saga ride line has come back into focus as well. Simply because it's just, it's just good, right? It thins the deck. It doesn't create 
a dude on the board, which is very, very relevant in some matchups, like the Shinori matchup. So the original ride line will the grade one comes out and kind of stays there because that guy doesn't go away. But that's kind of a liability in some situations. So here, you know, some people have been just trying out the Bab Saga ride line instead, so that doesn't happen. Um and then yeah, the rest of it I think is just a bunch of new cards. We're gonna kinda go through it just because it's like a lot of decks, there's not really much point in sitting around and just going through every single one when a lot of them are the same. Some of the texts are the Ethan. I actually hate the Ethan. I think it's just not that good, right? It's it's like your Vanguard needs to hit, so okay, right? Just let the Vanguard hit. But then your Vanguard also retires your front row, so this guy doesn't want to be in the front row. Uh, and in the early game when the Ethan stays, right? And you're, you don't retire your front row, you don't really need a counter charge. Also, Ethan's 9k, so it hits bad numbers. So overall, I actually dislike the Ethan. I think a lot of people have been changing the cyclers here for Ethan's just for the extra counter charge because you don't want to get counter blast denied uh which is which can happen uh, the even can kind of help you out but still I still don't like it because on the turn when you actually do get choked out it's it, it doesn't solve the issue right it doesn't solve the issue so I'm not a huge fan of it I think maybe playing just smart is better but even running things I think there's been a lot of I don't, I don't know what's up with this <laughs> There's like different ways that people are trying to get around. I think Gojo has been one of the other ways too. So I think that's actually slightly better. There's also some def def more defensive builds coming up like this one where be running the defensive role uh, to kind of combo and do that kind of little gimmick combo, which is pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, this is basically all the builds. You have the traditional, not really traditional, I guess the kind of old school, not really old school as well, you know? Like double cycler is still a thing. We will still run some of the old cyclers. It's just like, you know, you don't need to run four of it. Like here, if you count up all the cyclers, there's like five. Which I think is, is like still a decent number. It's like good enough. I, I think people have been changing between the cup and the ladder. All right. Technically, if you, in a, in a theoretical sense, your board can, it's completely emptied. So you don't really need the ladder. But at the same time, the ladder just kind of shuts down an entire turn regardless anyway. Though Persona Ride is pretty good with a Varga Restand, but then again, Bracing Angel Rider does give 5k to the Vanguard, so you double dip there already, so it's not the worst, like 28 versus 33, I feel like the numbers are kind of the same. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of how it is, I think mid, mid hat, mid hat is pretty much auto includes so far, because it just works so well with the deck. I guess one of the things you have to be careful here is not running Red OT, I mean a Dragon Empire OT, because it kind of works really weird with the Varga. Just run the blue routine, right? Gives crit, gives 100 million power. So that's fine. Um, and then uh, apart from that, the rest of it just feels pretty same. You just got to pick between, you know, if you want to play slightly more defensive. Like, players take out, don't even put in the carbuncle sometimes. And some of these players do. Gojo here for the counter charge is what I'm talking about. And the Madoka as well. You know, more defensive kind of build if you're worried about defense. But you can just kind of go offense. Right? I think you just go offense. I think it's, it's on the air if you choose draws or fronts. I think, like, you can do either. Fronts will give you more shield. Uh, draws will kind of draw you more. The deck does go, does draw a lot, but I don't think it draws enough for your deck out. But the draw is still good, right? Just, you can draw into pieces. Uh, technically, you can kind of recycle pieces a lot with her. Um, with, like, Shura. Right? You can recycle more, like, on like unretired draw pieces and just kind of keep on going with that, but... I think overall it's it's okay but yeah just just kind of where the build is at now um there is actually so many I, back then i think we saw some of the new kind of 10k 10k shield like 15k 13k booster 10k shield kind of grade ones that get released with the the name divine skill kind of card so I, maybe it'll come up soon again but bracket force here pretty cool that's also another choice it's less popular though but it still kind of functions um, Barania, I think we, we've seen a couple of them, but well, I think when it comes up, I'll kind of point it out. That one is the Gandiva grade one. So it's just th that if something has retired this turn, you can, on boost, you can like kind of bind it and draw a card. So it fulfills the idea of like empty your board. Uh, but yeah, so many Ethans, really a lot of Ethans. I think this is, this is, I think the Shehab, Shehab has been going up in price. I feel like you don't need it. I feel like this is a trap. You don't need it. So if you're looking at the Shehab prices right now, you can kind of just go, who cares? Right, I think that's fine. So don't worry about the Shehabs too much. Um, but not too sure what was this one. What was this? Actually, I actually haven't seen this card before. I have to double check that one. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
yeah this is the this is the kind of 13k boost 10k shield every every divine skill grade 3 has one of these or chris rain will have it um just like just nice it's just, it's just a nice card a nice filler card in the common slot that just kind of works out pretty well if you have slots nothing else to put in i think that's just a fine include uh but yeah gojo here gojo with with a raw uh and then yeah kind of cool this is chad's build so i'm actually going to give chad the best deck this week to the top d here you go here you go chad so if you don't know chad chad came second at deluxe this is his build i think this build has been floating around twitter quite a lot i think it's really good i think it's really good so this one actually just gets rid of the og cyclers you don't run the energy cycler you have the ride line the bath saga ride line which is great uh, and then here you have the barania which is solves the solves that part where like he just disappears from the board and draws a card and basically everything just does that everything does that which is great and then apart from that the, the rest is kind of relatively standard i have to say that it's just a standard uh vaga deck and you have the bracing angel letter that people have been replacing this is very expensive in jp of course but it helps against the shirano build builds soul at worst gives your vanguard 5k so i think it's fine i think this in the cup i think this is i, I would play this one i would play this one over the cup just because it has like multi-functional uses and its downside is like not much at all so I'm getting Chad the top D of the award this week just for its cool bit cool deck, right? But Vaga is pretty much the deck that is coming out of this set that everyone has eyes on and it's really, really crazy. So yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, Chad. Uh, and then next we have is uh, Lewis Hong. So this he was from, he played this at Tefida Vanguard tournament and beat like two Chris Strains. <laughs> yeah, went like, came third with this deck and this is with kind of a, kind of Shehab and the double cycle. Is it double cycle? A yeah, double cycle build. So that's there. Running the OG ride line as well. So this is the guy that I'm talking about that stays on the board and be really annoying. And then we got Shia Shia here from Sentinel Games. And um, came first, right? Came first with the double cycler build that people have been playing. That's pretty cool, right? With Midhad. Or Midhad, yeah. So congrats, congrats. On to another deck that got support is Green On. So there were a few Green On tops this week. Green On did get support in the new Divines set. And I feel like Green On was already pretty good before. Of course, you have the situation where if you're on six damage with Greedon and you face Shirinui, they mukuru you and you auto lose. But apparently, this deck is actually really good. So I'm going to have to go through more testing with this because, personally speaking, right, even from the West, this is this was actually a strong deck. Like the original Greedon when it came out, the regional Greedon Mask, I mean, when it came out, was a really strong deck in the meta. Wasn't really respected much in Japan, I think. While I think in Korea, it did pretty well. And the French as well took this and got that like top three slot. I know Derek was taking this. If I played in BCS, I would have probably played this as well. I think this was pretty much one of the strongest decks in the format at the time. And it's kind of, I, I kind of didn't really expect this to drop that much. I feel like it was still a good deck, but I'm just hearing rumors that this is really, really good. So apparently uh, some of the new cards allow it to just get some more advantage or just kind of like build board without committing. So that is already really nice, right? I, I love it when you can do that because it means more advantage, more cards in hand. So you just you just stay tanky, and uh, yeah, I think just testing this deck out a bit, we'll probably see we'll probably see some insane results from this. Onto Drajeweled, we had a couple of Drajeweled this week as well. Uh, basically a 50 card, you know, Falcratia. Uh, putting putting in the uh, Energy Cycler now. This is available, so pretty good, right? Just gives extra defense for something that wants to go into the late game. Not that many of these this week, though. Uh, purely because I think, yeah, everyone's trying out new stuff. And I think this this week will definitely be filled with way more new stuff than the last couple of weeks. Because everyone wants to try new things at locals, right? But I feel like we'll see more of the meta stabilize later. But your card fight here. So they're back. Thursday's winner at next level was RJ with Jeweled. Here's RJ. He is looking... Uh, Pretty crazy. <laughs> Running a Frau Kreisha build with the Drajeweled. Uh, next to second place is Brandon. I think we've seen his face multiple times already, right? Brandon with the Fennel build, yeah. And then th third was Loki with Bastion. Or is it... Or it's Con... Con... Huh? No, no, I think... <laughs> Yo, I'm getting a... Wait, what? So, okay, okay, okay. Second was Brandon with Fennel. Third was Con with Fennel as well. I'm just reading it wrong. Like, what, what is this? Is this is this photoshopped in? It's photoshopped in, right? <laughs> did he photoshop? Did they photoshop everything? Yeah, okay, okay. All right, there it is. There's, it actually is photoshopped in. And I'm like, what? Is my is my monitor broken? And fourth was Loki with Bastion. There we go. Look, is, is he eating the cards? 
<laughs> very good. Very good, yeah. Uh, and then we had another Drajeweled here. So this one, Pal misses twice. When X1 with Drajeweled Ignis for Friday Night 20 at Aurora's Collections. Owen lost those to top one play, the Shana Goat. Okay, lost Shana, the Shana Goat. Insane. Or my friends, Ignis deck to try it out since everyone was playing Lyrical. Wow, okay, that makes sense. Lyrical came out recently. I was trying out, but that means you get to play with three Falcations. So that's good. All right, that's great. Congrats. I have one Chrono Jet from Vega. This weekend, I placed fourth at TCG Con playing Jet. The format was a weird best of three. Uh, my mental with this game lately has been shaky. The key to success lies in believing you're the main character. A little Delulu goes a long way. I believe it's delusion, right? <laughs> um, so, four hours best of three with following rules. So, game one, dice roll winner picks. Game two, loser of game one must go first. And then game three was dice roll winner picks. That's kind of weird, right? That's kind of weird. So, usually it's just loser, loser picks, right? But right now, no. Right now, you don't. You just roll the dice. And you get to choose. I right? get to choose. And then losers should be picking. Yeah, that, that's it's what it is. It's, sometimes it's just a, it's a side tournament, right? Have some fun. Yeah. Then we're on to probably one of the best decks in the format. So this is Direful Dolls. So I think a lot of people have been hyping this deck up. I think when I first looked at this deck, it was pretty like, is this a real deck? But then after you play it and all the pieces go together, you're like, wow, this deck is really strong. So this is probably one of the strongest decks. I think in the future, this might be better than Varga. I'm not going to lie. Right, this deck is literally missing just like one card to make it like top, like hyper top tier. Right now with this deck, you will probably go to time just because it's like a grind deck. But once it gets like an even stronger finisher or a stronger combo, like it makes five attacks already, right? Uh, but once it does that, I think this deck will just actually be like tier 0 0.5, right? This deck is, is really, really strong. Or if like the tier one, like the Shunui decks all disappear, get hit, this deck might actually just, just be really really strong but you have to be really quick in playing it because if you play it slow uh like we did in testing you're gonna get into 40 minute games and you don't get 40 minutes playing at regionals right you just get like 25 and then you just lose you both lose so you're gonna have to play this deck really really quickly but this is a really really strong deck don't let anyone kind of bait you into thinking this is just a jerk deck this is really good pick up your zargons pick up your almagesters right the great one here and you'll probably and your diaphodol heals so this guy this, yeah, this is a correct heal, but there's like a two, a different Difold Dif heal that we're not seeing. Um, one of the effect heals is a Difold Doll, in case you don't know. So I think this is, yeah. I if you want to pick that one up, and I think it'll work out pretty good. But this is from Sugarken. Playground Standard Weekly Tournament. Difold Doll's first place, right? Already first place. Managed to stay at three damage for two plus rounds against Varga and out resources CB Lamau. Like, when I played against Chris and he was just loading the deck, I pushed him to four damage very quickly, but then he just stayed at four damage for like two turns. So that was really crazy. He just stayed there at two turns, not taking a single damage, guarding everything. And it was like Reziel or something like that. So it's pretty insane, right? The deck is actually pretty good. So uh, give it a try, right? Give it a try. A few Bastions this week. This mat is really cool. I think I've got this mat now. Got to, ja got to Japan, picked up all my goods, right? So... I think I had this one. It is great. Nice. Nice. But yeah, Bastion Deck's also cool. The uh the team that won was C Destiny. So what was C Destiny? It's uh it's actually Bastion. And then we've got Shirinui. And then Morphonica. I guess. <laughs> I guess it's like Bastion's freedom. And then Shirinui is justice. And then Morphonica is like like lack of <laughs> <laughs> all right all right that's cool it's cool to see uh radiant vanguard we got hermelin all standard locals first was radiant vanguard with the bastion right so uh running oh running the cycler there for the extra slots and then we got break vanguard coming second with the lutetia all right and then next we have is angel mile blade uh champion was gelo malari with bastion look at this is the main cards everything else is blurred out we don't need to know those cards yet but i think bastion is pretty straightforward already so good stuff second was paolo amos with leonorn yeah third was pio uh Mol molinas with Dredjuled. all right with falcratia okay and then fourth was jeremy K kallig with shiana so uh yeah shiana whoa what is what is this man <laughs> Woo. Ooh, it's, it's uh, spicy, right? Spicy. 
Uh, and then we got Youth Berg, so New York Cartwright again. So Fordham Comics winner was Anime Master Flex with Youth Berg. So uh, he's saying, I hope people aren't unironically calling Youth Berg bad. Youth Berg sucks. It didn't win worlds. It is a terrible deck now. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's not bad. Maybe it's bad when Shinoi comes out. Or well, not as good. Right, but yeah, right now it's not, it, it's fine, it's fine. Second was Zeus with Youthberg, third it was Dev with Shoujo Doji, and fourth was Anthony with Bruce. Right, do we have the Shoujo Dojis coming out again? All right, yeah. And then your card fight again, Friday's winner Toy Wiz was Bunnies with Youthberg, so the spirit of youth is what they're saying. Um, yeah, another Youthberg again, so second was Josh from Nirvana, Nirvana? Third was Thompson with Jujuled, and fourth was Evan with Mushi King. Those are all the only Youthbergs, right? This week, it's back to the Luards. Um, so I got a few here, a couple of Luards. Uh, nothing too special anymore, right? It's just, you've got the Sel Selgaeons. Uh, this one actually is kind of special. I think this is the new, it's one of the new, I think, is it the Dog Order? I'm not sure if it's a Dog Order or like the Luhan Order, but I think, I'm pretty sure it's a Dog Order, right? Um, but I think it gives like two 5Ks and you can kind of like combo it. I'm not 100% sure, but interesting to see it being played here. I know a lot of people have been trying out the Minerva order, um, even in Raziel, right? The Minerva Grade 2 order, they just basically lets you, like this one, this one, here we go. So this card is actually not bad, because it lets you Grade 2 game pretty well, and I'm not sure if this is the dog's one. I think it is, because it's like a dog here and a dog here, right? Yeah, the this this one specifically, the Grade 2, lets you Grade 2 game pretty well. Pretty well, let you just play down cards and draw. And let you be very uh kind of procs the this this grade two, the the generic kind of order grade two. So it lets you play your game pretty well. Um well later on it lets you kind of get like well you, you get an advantage from this, and then later on it converts into a big beater, right? But just early game as well, just getting extra cards will just help you win the early game, which is important, very important. Uh this was this was pretty much Chad. Chad kind of made it cool in worlds or wgp but we see it now just some some interesting text uh but i guess a lot of these still aren't running that they don't really care so maybe just one guy one guy caught on i actually think it's a really good tech i think it's a really good tech and the last one was randall bricks play vanguard standard tournament went x0 with this goofy build of Luard and played first blaster dark in ride line kind of pog so yeah there we go so the blaster dark in ride line helps you stop Helps you stop aggression. Um, Red OT as well. Well, Red OT, okay. Uh, and then, yeah, just sell gowns and just the. I think this is like it's the Singapore, like, grade two kind of tech. All right. So, pretty cool. All right. Congrats. Congrats. But we got a new a new Keta guy on the line. It is Rezael. All right. Rezael. Interested to see how this is built. So, the deck we built, we were testing with, ran the Minerva kind of grade two uh, order. Um, this one is running the dog, so I feel like both of these are like relevant just to help out because you can be very aggressive with this deck. There's like, there's like, what I say, it's like mid range. Not really. It's just, it's just you can play out the bat very aggressively, and then convert cards into like damage, and then you know your Razal can get back cards for free, and you don't really have to worry about CB because it's just so compact. The whole deck kind of works with itself, builds counter charge. We'll let you counter charge, build soul, so everything just works. So you can, well, I mean, I'm kidding this. You can just afford to play very aggressively early on. So very, I actually do like this deck quite a lot. And I can easily see this deck becoming like way better in the future. So this this is kind of the build, similar build that we were playing with this uh, this grade two, and you just kind of just pump, just go go go, push it down, play down a bunch of cards, push damage, try lane asap, and just like put on a lot of pressure. Right, very really like it a lot really like it um i guess when more cards come i, I think sages was something that, that people were running over this guy this this uh gigantic i think masha i think running one of this guy is fine but the sages let you like this this here it is so the sages will let you if you attack with the last or after the vanguard swing it'll let you check your top deck and like if you see a crit there you confirm like a six damage heal right with the divine skill so i think it's really good but you don't need to run like three like just run two i think is like fine and your third can be the masher just so if you want to push power you can the sages does get like power but you know the it's always it's just straight up 28 with just masher and then 38 on the persona ride just it's really good 
Right, you don't really have to jump through hoops, you know. Oh, well, having the option there is like great. Um, blue OT is like fine, right? You can even run like red OT, right? If you really want to. I think you, can, you might be able to get away with red OT. Actually, I think red OT is great because salvaging in this deck is like kind of whatever I feel like. It's okay. It's not that important though. So maybe just running a more aggressive OT line is is good. Um, but yeah, this grade two, I think should be put in maybe more maybe more a deck so i think this this combo is like really good right and then since cell is going to everything this this triple combo is really good all right and then since this generic this this generic cycler is like really good just put this one into too. <laughs> all your keta decks should be running all of this it's just so good <laughs> um but un unironically yes <laughs> it is really good it is really good uh Tempera store so only so I think oh so this tournament only lets you play the DZ beat a new booster pack around line, um, but yeah so this was just the Reziel deck that came first so that's nice right Reziel coming first yeah again it's like it's good it's it's fast it's strong it's crazy and then the second was Vaga Dragus so here it is Vaga nice and the third was another Vaga as well so I think we've seen some of these too so crazy crazy. Next is on Magnolia. So Magnolia definitely got some love. I told you before, there is that new PR um, that came out. Did you get a new Ryan line? I think this one is playing the new Ryan line. Uh, but overall, like Magnolia was already relatively quite strong with the uh, with just the with just the PR. What, what is it? Is it this? It's not this one. Maybe this guy's not running it. Maybe it's this. No, no, it's this thing. It's this great two that is under declare. Just insane counter charges builds you, uh, builds you. Uh, the counter charges and builds your shield. This is like insane shield. I think it's like plus, f it's like 5k. You can instead for the back, right? And then it's like 5k shield for each marker, dragon tree marker. So it goes 30k shield. Boom. Eat. Don't eat anything because <laughs> it guarded you. Um, but this one's actually an elder build as well. An elder build. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool running some of the new support. So that's nice to see. And then you have Matthias Marin. So Keysart 1 standard. Remote locals of Mag Elder because Megumi still can't win a game on screen. Deck is solid, just not broken. Superior ride in the ride deck is funny. Ignore the TD PG. I just can't find a fourth one. <laughs> just run a better PG, guys. Run the same. Oh, no, you can't run Sanctitude because it's Elder. There it is. All right, there it is. One Zorgalist from JP. Uh, I guess they just put in Energy Cyclers and called it a day. And then we have some Roa as well. So Roa, I told you last time, well, pretty much how it's kind of been rising up in a bit of popularity, but this week it is literally just going to be new ride lines, guys. Uh, but this has energy cyclers too. Next is Leonorn. So Leonorn got some love. Well, no, not really some love, but more players are playing it. We're still waiting for this guy unless he's already out, but you can run this build. This, this build is, is good. I like this build, All right? I like the pure build. Just trigger, trigger DF more often. But with the PI, it's, it's really good. Uh, I think there was, there's still some, it's, it's not like Vivas, I mean, not Vivas, it's not like the mask goes, but I think mask is fine, just, it comes down on what you want to prefer, right? Gary Stefanes, this was for their, I think this is English, right? So winner was Aldira with Stoikea, with Leon on Vivas, so you got the mask, you know, Vivas into Vivas. Um, second place was Steven with Lyrical Fennel, what is with Fennel? What is with anyone, everyone playing Fennel, yeah? Third place was Gary with, uh, Youthberg. Right, youth bag, and then yeah, full blast. Now it's all of it. So this is from PTC uh, report. PTC can't find where I got weekly. Yep. And then lastly is Pal misses twice from Virtus North CBTL twenty report, and we got Leonorn Viva masks. So they're saying Magnolia order is busted. Might run more. So we got that one. No sure Rosarium Fairy on my last round against Bastion. Oh, so they lost because they didn't draw the Rosarium Fairy. All right, feels bad. Feels bad. We got a Lascaria. A bunch of Lascaria decks, actually. A bit surprising. I didn't expect to see this many. Uh, personally, I don't really rate this deck. I don't like how, like, clunky it is. Because you need to have, like, your Blitz order. Like, this specific one. And then kind of combo it into other Blitz orders. And then it kind of doesn't work with energy as well. Because your Blitz order requires energy. And then your guards require, like, three energy as well. So it's kind of weird that way. It kind of does, like, conflicts. And then you can never like pay seven to draw a card, which sometimes is pretty good. It just limits your options a bit like that. Um, 
but like we have seen success su success i think some of the interesting things here is that uh running they're running this order so the, the old dog order that like pumps power in a crit if there's enough in the drop zone so you, if you if you play this onto one of the restanders i guess that's pretty good that might solve your like finisher problem where you have like just one one guy like hitting so big with crit that you know you, you win uh but i just i actually just don't like maybe the like with, with some of my builds is like seven this one has seven blitz orders you can even run eight but like, i just don't like how it's so reliant on you know having like changing the blitz order or your deck like doesn't really do anything or you just have a bunch of dead cards in hand right but it has again like i said it's been showing quite a bit of success interested to see how they've been building this deck not gonna lie so uh got how many like so one to four seven eight nine nine blitz orders so this one no eight blitz orders sorry this is not a blitz order um, but they went really high i'm here but i guess they're running is this the draw two or is the salvage order it's, it's one of those right um but i think a lot of the decks are running that so maybe that is the way maybe maybe that is the correct way to proceed is this or, okay, okay, only six blitz orders? Yeah. Kind of skeptical. All right, kind of skeptical. Uh, another one, another JP one here. So, you know, Verano's running Cyclers. Again, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't work, right? Um, and then probably like, what? Four, eight, ten? Ten orders? It's so many. All right, so many. Ten, eleven, I guess. You, you count that. Eleven blitz orders. Like, in a way, like, 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 like Duke... When you play one, you do get to draw cards. You get to go through a deck when you play it. So it's not the worst in the world. It actually is pretty decent. But yeah, another another line up here. But this, this is not a Blitz order, I'm pretty sure. So it's like seven with the Sanctitude. Do we have a Sanctitude? Uh, no Sanctitude. Wow, okay. Uh, another one. And then got two of them. Two of these ones again. And then lastly, uh, we have one more. And this is running... Yeah, so already the evergreen, so evergreen, which is cool. So pretty much eight, right? You got a bunch of utility here and the 20 here. Like you have to remember, you have to use true energy for this all the time. So you just have to make sure like you get three a turn. So if you use one, you net game one. But if you want to go more, you will use up more. So it is what it is. And you have to be careful about the energy. Like this guy's not running energy cyclers. I think a lot of the old, other guys were. Or maybe not. Maybe they decide not to. But yeah, if you want energy cyclists, I feel like there's a bit of energy conflict going on. So, not a huge fan of that. Uh, and also got like one Christianos, right? One Christianos. So, uh, I actually thought this card was way better, but you do require a Soul Blast, I think, a Christianos, which makes this deck like <laughs> way less good, in my opinion. So, that's why I'm only running two, I, I guess. I wasn't running two. Um, before, I was like, wow, restand, restand, five attacks, feels good, but rereading it feels bad. <laughs> And then lastly, we've got a Claudine here as well. So this is from Horby from P2L, Vanguard Deluxe. And they came uh, in top four. They top four. So congratulations. we got Yokai Taku here. Friday Night Vanguard at the Inventory in Guam. Um, the winner was two with Orphus Masks. And then many unexpected upsets resulting in Sue's well-fought win. Yet I can't let Orphus cook too long. Lol. All right, so yeah, we got one office. This is the only one. We got the Lelouch in the background. Um, but yeah, good old office taking it home. So congrats. Then we have a couple of Avas. So what is with Ava? Was it the Cyclers? Did the Cyclers do anything? Looks like no. I don't think there was anything new with this deck at all, right? No, nothing new, right? There's actually, yeah, no, no. I don't think so. Wow. All right, so we just made it. And then we had another Ava here. So this was from uh, Cardfight Vanguard Argentina. So actually, we should go into the main list here. So this is from Tornio. So the format was standard. First was Ignacio Cheda with Brankgate. So Ava. Second was Leandro Calabrese with the Messiah. And then third was Eduardo Angeles with the Bastion. Right, with the Bastion. So let's take a look at this. So first off, we have the... Uh, we got the... This is the first place Ava list. So just straight up Ava. All right, good stuff. All right, good stuff Ava. Second place was the Messiah, all right, which is here running kind of retires as well as funky grade one. No, this is the Messiah PR grade one, so cool, cool. And then we don't have the third place, all right? So that's that. And then onto Wellstra. So this is the new, this is the new Wellstra, right? This is 
kind of baited me at first because I was like, whoa, Seraph, but no, it's actually Welstra. Uh, runs pretty similar to the old Welstra, except that now you have the satellite cannon, uh, which will let you go into kind of two routes that you can play. Uh, if your opponent's on on five, when you're on your fourth turn, you can use the cat satellite cannon and push damage. And you just want like less attacks, I guess. But then if they're on five, you can just do the old combo and then just kind of push damage that way. Uh, but yeah, I think personally, I'm not a huge fan of this current Wellstra build because it feels like it's too much like the old list, you know, the old way of playing. I feel like the, the new secondary, I think she's like Tone, Tony or whatever. I think she sucks. I think she's actually not very good. The amount of counter blast you need for this deck is like so high. You see everyone running like eight copies of counter charge. I think, and I think that's actually correct. Or I actually think that's correct. Eight, eight counter charges is where you want to be because you never want to be in a situation where you don't have counter blast. But then it also builds your soul. And this deck uses a lot of soul too. And you might be going, whoa, you know, you have an order that gives soul, but it's better to solve two problems at once, which is one, don't get stuck with counter blast, and two, don't get stuck with soul. The, the, the reality of this deck is that if you don't draw your fry hides, I think your deck is doomed. So this is one of those decks where it's still the same as before. Draw your fry hides or go home. <laughs> if you draw a Tone, sure. Like, if you draw this girl, it's, it's, it's okay. She's like a bad fry hides. But fry hides sets your card, builds up your persona ride, act, activates your product. What does she do? She gets 5k. 5k is cool, right? It's cool. It's good as a first swing, but that's about it. All right, that's about it. So nothing replaces fry hides. This is Mr. Turkey, uh, online Discord tournament by Blue Sovereign. All right, first place was Hubert Hugo with Divine Wellstra. Yep, there it is. Again, eight counter charges. Eight counter charges. I'm not too sure about two of the Maxim, though. I would really hate it when these Maxims go to damage. All right, but eight counter charges. That's where it is. Uh, second was Blue Sovereign with Prism, right? And then third was Turkey. Turkey with Aminia. Okay, nice. Looks like everyone's got the Secretary Girl as well, so that's pretty much a Velstra win. That one Velsha block really came in clutch for round four. Do you only run one? Ha! <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Alright, grats, grats. We got three messiahs. What, three messiahs? I guess you have the, th the energy one now that lets you kind of get through the early game. So, not too surprising. So, well, we got the Argentina one here. We've already seen this one. Um, and we've got Miss Messiah here. So, back to my namesake. Uh, Prelude is an incredible card. Don't listen to the internet. Which one is Prelude? Uh, Haha, -ha, Eclipse Moonlight so funny. I only have two Preludes. Need to see on the side. Which one is Prelude? This has been two... This one, right? Is this Prelude? Yeah, this is broken. This is, like, really good. So... <laughs> Unlucky, you only have two. <laughs> uh, and then after that, we got some Lyricals. So, Kyrie Lyrical... I think Kyrie itself got some support going into the Divine set, but then before it was already okay. Uh, but then I think we got a bunch of lists. This is uh, this is Willista, so Willista with the new energy. Also the the, the psych the what you call it the uh, I guess the order order generic. I guess it works really well, right? Because you always play an order every turn. Um, and then we got a bunch of New York card fights. So this was all win won by the same guy. So this is at next level. Uh, one by the Kyrie, so I think they're all the same list as well. So they're all by Phase Ventus, right? And then I think another one. So he's won a bunch of locals this weekend. So congrats there. This was Silk Road, so they won Silk Road, Card Quest, and then what was the last one? It was next, like, yeah, so those three, right? And then last we got David Ketter's Siddeley Soldier. Been wanting to try this list for a while, but never got around to testing it. Till now, and it works great. I love how flexible Kyrie is. Makes so much fun to play with all you can do. So by the way, this card goes up in price a lot, right? So you guys should buy this if you don't have it. If you already have it, feels good. Just make sure, oh, Aura as well. Aura is insane, you need this to get into your ladders. So if, if you don't have Auras, hopefully they're not too expensive yet, but you should be getting them ASAP, yeah, ASAP. Lyrical Fordex as well. So Shamo still is, is doing well, right? It's still doing good, which is pretty cool. Cool to see. A uh, Couple of more Shamos here. Should be some prisms coming up, but more Shamos, right? Jet Japanese Shamo. I think that was the same as before, just then. Uh, RT Void, undefeated with Fennel, and I really enjoyed the deck with some upgrades. So this was at Darkwater Games. And again, Fennel, what is what is going on? What is going on? 
Uh, New York Card Fight, so Brothers Grimm winner was Rush Zaban with Prism. Uh, and then they, he said, I wish Pacifica was better, but she's not. Prism is better. Right. <laughs> Second was Brooklyn with Prism. Third was Carambola with Diados. And fourth was Henry with Leonorn. Right, but yeah, Prism is good. Right, Prism is good. Uh, out of orange, second place, 4-1 with Prism in D, lost to an unlucky OT, but it was still a really well-played game. Um, but yeah, grads there. She, you really just went back from Japan, right? And then it went straight to locals, eh? <laughs> I feel like, looking at the time of this, I think it looks like, uh, <laughs> it looks like that's what happened. <laughs> yeah, again, Prism is good. Prism is good. Uh, Thalgiel. Dalgiel Aurora's Collections, uh, top one, so first place, playing Shiana. Uh, I'm still currently on my Shiana arc and fixed my trigger light up, uh, along with some Tekkens that proved fruitful. So Shiana, uh, some Blitz Orders, one Aura, yeah, so this, cool, 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 right, very nice. Shana, I think Kelvin was carrying this deck around as well, like trying to, trying to meme on people. <laughs> I'm like, I thought you wanted to play quick games in Japan, but you brought one of the the, uh, the stalliest ones out in the format at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah, congrats, Algil. That was first place. And then onto the collab decks, we got some Shia Shia Hya. They This is from the Tefita 20. I uh, forgot about this, but just wanted to post this to show I'm not forgotten about my girlfriends. All right, your girlfriends, eh? Uh, so, <laughs> the Migro list, right, with some editions, just because you need to hit 50k, uh, 50 decks. Uh, and then we have another one here, a Japanese Migro as well. So this one is a much more higher rarity. And then we have one from Chalaris. Good Games Morley Weekly Standard. Proxy allowed up to Triple R Booster as it's BSF season. So the testing for first place was Sam Nguyen with should be no proxies playing Mushi King. All right, Mushi King still doing good. Oh, uh, actually, maybe he did proxy. Maybe he just doesn't own Mushi King cards. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Second, we've got uh, Chalaris with the Shiranui. Of course, right? Everyone's going to be playing this deck. And third was Sean Cameron with Pacifica. All right, Pacifica, so only. Only Chilaris taking it, taking it, uh, how do you say it? Taking it seriously. Shiranui, what a guy. What a guy. Even though he should be judging, right? <laughs> we have some V-Dex. I don't even know what year we're in. I'm looking at some of this. I'm like, there's a Blade Master. <sighs> what is this? A Waterfall? Is that a Waterfall, bro? <laughs> yeah, so you got the Waterfall combo with the Potion to pump it up. And then, you know, Sentinel Restrict. Lamal. It was so old school. I don't. What year are we in? What year are we in? Right. <laughs> uh, got Fortune with Neko Cards V Premium first place with Chaos Messiah. All right. The strides are in there as a little joke at George's request, but we're not in the tournament, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, V continues to not change. I'm starting 2024 by realizing my mistakes, like not playing. V at BCS, what? Should you be playing this at BCS? I don't know. I don't know, right? V. <laughs> uh, we have a DI from Japan as well. So, Shaharot. Wow. Is this, is this like two years ago? I'm just I'm just going like nostalgia. Japanese Highlander as well. Is everyone playing this? Because we have uh, they got what the heck? Hey, look at that. That's the Spring Fest. This is a J Japanese. I think people were looking for it, right? So the, the winner was Akebin. Akebin, is it? Oh, no. Okay. Okebin. Okebin? Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, but yeah, no. I remember some, some people were searching for this car. The Ava Spring Fest one. Yeah. But then we got a Highlander here as well. High Highlander list with the Ava Matt. Wow. They got the full, the full shebang. Someone must have... Gave them a good deal, I guess. Yeah, congrats there. Yeah, oh, Highlander, V Highlander. Not to premium. I've got an Ezel. Ezel premium? And this is a Japanese list as well. Uh, with no, I guess no Percival? I th uh, uh, wh why no Percival? I think P Percival's good, right? No Percival, just pure, pure Ezel. Yeah, okay. Uh, Kowal Deep, locals deck from Friday Century Box Cards premium event in Calgary. In Canada, played Minerva Regalia because I got inspired by World Finals. So yeah, this actually came second at World Finals. And the VODs are out for the World Finals. So if you guys want to watch that, you can. You can. Um, but kind of unexpected. It's not like saying Regalia is like a bad deck, right? I think Regalia was was okay. Um, but definitely wasn't like a bad pick. Right? Definitely wasn't like it's a, it's a bad deck now. It's just been the same deck 
for like forever. <laughs> so to be honest, it probably came in kind of unexpected when people saw this deployment. Ah, it's, just, it's just this deck again, but bang. You can just randomly get wins. Yeah, sir. Uh, people have to respect it. All right, people have to respect it. Otherwise, we'll come second at Worlds. Maybe even first, if you're not careful. Uh, Genesis Darkout Game Center Weekly Premium Tournament came second place with Gavriel, all right? And then I think they just died to Gurgurt. So Gurgurt could unfortunately fish out a PG from deck to present, protect itself from a four crit, 100 million power Hamiel. All right, so it'll probably restands too, yeah, if you're lucky. But uh, it, yeah, just damage yourself a lot, get all the triggers, put on the Hamiel. Um, hopefully you hit the OT. No Sentinels for you, but I guess some decks, this is premium though, some decks get away with it, right? They can, they can, uh, they can stop you if you're not careful, so. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, and then we have for, we also have a Shirinui Crest list, I think, from Japan. So, uh, I think this was kind of people trying it out before, uh, it's just in, in the West, I remember, but I think everyone just jumped off it. They just went, normal Shirinui is better. And then we got a bunch of Megalonic So we've got Radiant Vanguard here from Hermelin Alst, Premium Locals. First was Angelstein with Aquaforce. Second was Deliru with Murakumo. And third was Stacked Sheeple with Dimension Plea. So first off, here is that Premium. This is such a fair deck though, right? Aquaforce is so fair now in Premium, yeah? <laughs> uh, second was the Murakumo. <sighs> Another fair deck. I think no, this, is, this is a fun deck though. It's pretty fun. And everyone's going to get that Harmonix Messiah soon. Which is hopefully coming out in English, I think in mid, mid year, right? In those deck sets, all right? And then we got the Dimension Police. Dimension Police. So, also, such fair decks. You guys have such fair locals. I guess, to be fair, most of the unfair premium players are out at Worlds, right? <laughs> so, yeah, congrats, congrats. Uh, and then we have just a Japanese, I think, Bermuda list. So, this should be Highland. No, not Highlander. Is it? Loris? Is it, is it, is it the Loris? Uh? <laughs> Let's just call it a Bermuda Triangle list. <laughs> um, then we've got Argentina, so Tornio again. Uh, this was from a while ago. First place is Marco Dardis with Bermuda Triangle. Second was Emmanuel Gonzalez with Link Jerker. And third was Leonardo Calabrese with the Aquaforce. So let's look at third place. We got the Aquaforce, the fair, fair Aquaforce. That's the one way to describe Aqu That's my way of describing Aquaforce now. Fair and... Fair play, right? Likes fair play. <laughs> no more riding down anymore, even though you probably can. Uh, then we got the Glenius thing that we saw. What is that Glenius thing? Probably, is it, well, actual Glenius. Actual Glenius, yeah. Not even Chaos, right? They're not playing Chaos, just a burst markers. They just went straight into Glenius, doing it the old way. So, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then first place was uh, Lupina? Ange? Ange Lupina? Half? The end? I think it's that, yeah. Just Ange. Ange, Chiro, we want Lupino. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, nice, nice. Right, cool, cool. Uh, after that, we have is the another one. We have another Argentina list. So this was a more recent one on the 11th. First was Joaquin or Joaquin Lindolfo with Bermuda Triangle. So this is like Riviera. Second was Eduardo Angelis with Bermuda Triangle. What is it? Assume me, Angelis. Um, I mean, Bermuda Triangle. And third was Enzo Vilte with Nova Grappler. All right, Nova Grappler. And then we have here it is third place. We have the uh, we got Nova Grapplers there. So this game, Steven played this game. I think fourth place, not third place. I even think it's third for some reason, but it was fourth place at Worlds. But this is, I think, this is a much more not the same build. It's running uh, not uh, Beast Aides, right? Beast Aides, not Victor. So Beast Aides and got a bunch of Beast Aides here, right? So okay, it's crazy, crazy cool. Second was the uh, Tiruwa list. So Tiruwa and one of a bunch of stuff here, and then Tiruwa. So focusing Tyrio and restanding, I guess, so like, you know, I'm going to like Heltrota into like Tyrio to do the to do a restand, so that's okay. And then we have a R Riviera that came first. And we got the max out zero is just gonna pop off. If I pop off, I win, All right? So, congrats, congrats. And then lastly, we have a premium Neo Nectar list. This is Jeremy, uh, the one who whiffs. This came third place at premium locals with Musketeers. Only lost to Riviere, misplayed with guarding, but opponent next damage would be no T, so it didn't matter. Shoutouts to Sage for making me change list right before. All right, so uh, yeah, wow, Neo Nectar. So this was not the same list that the French have been playing, but it's like Cecilia into Reverse Cecilia. 
So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it's it's nice. It's, we've got a nice G-Zone. Look at that. Max ready, max ready. Ooh, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, that is all the lists we have this week. Kind of went through the last ones a bit quick, but just kind of wanted to focus on all of the new decks that came out for Divines. No Chris Rain this week. Actually, no Chris Rain. This is that, that's the one new ride line that didn't come out, even though it's probably one of my... I actually like it. I actually like, like playing Chris Lane cut a lot, but... Uh, yeah, we got to see the other five, which is nice. Let me know what you all think about the new stuff, right? If there is, you know, anything you want to say, put in the comments below. If you have decks, hashtag VGTopDex. It's written below. You don't know how to spell it, but you can just post on Twitter and we'll see it. And with that, that's this week. See you all next time, all right? Enjoy playtesting. We'll be playing more Divisey. I'm playing more Divisey. Right? Test it out. I'll see you all later, all right? Bye.